What's up guys, Luciano here, and welcome back to our Arkansas State Dynasty. Um, we're going to be jumping into week number four, I do believe. Um, we're going to be taking on Virginia Tech. Uh, but before we jump into that, let's go over some of the recruiting. Um, as I mentioned in my last episode, uh, we are targeting Zach Clark, this outside linebacker, um, as our top priority. Uh, I'm not sure if we made any ground on him. Looks like we might have dropped a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna hang in here. Hopefully, we can pick him up because he uh, is in Arkansas and he likes proximity to him. Let's hope we can get a visit for him and just kill that visit. Uh, we do have Arkansas and Tennessee ahead of us, which is gonna be hard to overcome, but we're gonna try. Uh, number two on my list is Reggie Green this cornerback out of Virginia. He's not a pipeline state, but um, I do like what I see here. He has 86 man, 86 zone coverage. He's going to be fairly fast. He has 91 acceleration. Uh, play recognition is fantastic at 83. Um, yeah, he, he could be a very, very good player for us. Probably start immediate. He is a little bit shorter. He's 5'9", 168, but I mean, we're... we're uh, Gonna need to start building up our cornerback room a little bit after this year. Uh, these, this running back, I feel I can get both of them. I feel like I can get Sutherland and Franklin. Uh, this Nick Good, this middle linebacker. I'm kind of iffy on if we can get him or not. However, we do get 250 weekly bonus points, so we're gonna try and get him as much as we can. This tight end, the same way. Uh, Steven Smith is the other cornerback I just figured out. We are a little bit behind, but 330 weekly bonus points. Um, 86 man, 80 cover, 80 zone, 88 speed. I mean, he's pretty good. Good play recognition. I'm going to try, man. I'm going to try to get a lot of these dudes. Michael Doucette, another guy I really like. And this athlete, Drew Jones, who is an absolute menace. 94 speed, 91 acceleration. Looks like he'd be a receiver. Yeah. Man coverage 88. He could be a corner. He's catching the 76. We could use him as a corner. 63188. Dude, he'd be a badass corner. I don't know. If we get him, we'll see what we can do with him. How far are we away again? 595? Dude, we can beat Marshall for this. We can beat Marshall. 100%. Um. But yeah, these are new guys down here that I've added in. I haven't had a chance to scout yet, but they're lower lock percentages, so we might have a chance to get them. Um, yeah, so still looking for our first commit. Probably not going to happen for a while. Um, but jumping into this game against Virginia Tech, they are 1-2, and two, and as are we, we're coming off a win against Troy on a game-winning field goal. If you didn't, I just spoiled it if you didn't watch that episode, but uh, anyway... Uh, let's look at the preview. Kirk Curb Street picking against us once again, man. Um, our rush defense and pass offense and our tur turnover differential is the only thing we have against them. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, they're decent at a lot of things, but not great at anything. So, I mean, we might have a chance here. Um... They are coming off losses to number one Alabama and number 13 at Louisville. So, maybe FCS East, 38 to 14. So, I mean, acceptable losses, I guess. Um, as you see here, we played number nine Auburn pretty tough on the road. Um, that game could have easily been 24 to like 14 if we would have scored at the end of the game. I mean, we beat. Troy, and now we're here at Virginia Tech going to Blacksburg. I mean, it's probably going to be pretty tough. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this game and see if we can pull off this upset. As you see here, Virginia Tech is an 88 overall, 83 offense, 92 defense. So, uh, they double us up in uh, defense and overall, but offense is not too great, so hopefully we can get some stops here and there. But it seems like the big problem is going to be trying to move the ball on this defense. So we'll be kicking off to start off this game. <sighs> okay, nervous. 
I'm always nervous for these games. Alright. AJ Bush coming out to play quarterback for Virginia Tech. Uh, let's start out man coverage. Let's get a defense. Let's go get a stop. This offense statistically is not that great. So as McMillan gets to carry up the middle six yards, Trayvon McMillan. Man, I hope they don't run this no huddle offense constantly like Troy did. We're gonna be manned up on the running back here. And he's not gonna do anything, so we're gonna go out to the quarterback and he's gonna scramble out to the outside and he's gonna pick up a first down. Scrambling quarterback, man, it's gonna be an issue. We're gonna try to bring some pressure, see if we can't get to him. As he's gonna scramble again, and that's Wilson over there to stop him. Make the initial contact, and we're able to pick up the tackle. He only picks up three there. Um, maybe try zone? And we're gonna commit to the pass here. Looks like Bush is a run first quarterback. That's a screen. And he's going to dump it off to him. That's a good tackle there. Not sure exactly who that was that made the tackle. Um, let's go back to a man coverage here and have him and his uh, man and a QB spy, I should say. Third and eight. We got to get a stop here, man. As Bush is going to go down. Sacked for a loss of eight. Who was it? Javon Rollin Jones getting to the quarterback. Okay, we were able to run the ball very well last week against Troy. Uh, Warren Wand had about 29 carries for 138 yards. And we were able to milk about seven minutes out of the fourth quarter and set up that game winning field goal. So. Yeah, we're going to make it a priority to try to run the football. But it might be kind of hard with this stingy Virginia Tech defense, it seems like, as Juan is going to bounce to the outside and pick up four. Going to set up a third and seven. I'm going to stick to my usual game plan of chewing the clock, not letting the offense touch the ball that often. really our best chance to win is we're gonna hit Mason over the middle but the usual drops the ball as McMillan gets to carry he's got a lot of room the blocking is impressive holy crap Our corners have got to get off the blocks there and go make a play. As Jesus, man, Henry Murphy, 13-yard reception. Could be a quarterback designed run. No, it's going to be a read option. He's going to keep it. As Bush is going to rumble forward for seven. Dude, this quarterback run is an issue. I mean, we could set some pressure off the edge. Try to counteract that, maybe. It's going to be the same play. Yep, he's going to keep it. And... Can we please tackle the quarterback, man? Holy crap. He broke three tackles, man, and two of them were hit sticks. I'm lighting that dude up, bro. I'm trying to light him up. He has to pay for this running, dude. Come on. He's going to keep it again. 
surprised it's not a face mask or something. Picks up a yard there. They gotta go no huddle. You know it, man. Every team goes no huddle against us. False start. That's what we needed. That's a big penalty. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. From the 18 yard line, second down. <sighs> okay, defense, come on. Got to get a stop. They're going under center. Huh. And down. No, he doesn't go down. Now he goes down. He fumbles the ball and they get it back, man. How did he not, how did I got not pick up that ball, bro? Oh my. I mean, we got what we went and we got our fumble, but man, come on. We're gonna play our corners back. See if we can't get to the quarterback and he gets rid of it. It's Eric Kuma, who gets two yards on the play, and it brings up fourth and 18. They're just going to set up and take the field goal, it looks like. So, I mean, I win for our defense, but man, picking up that fumble would have been great. As the field goal is up and good. 3 nothing Virginia Tech. Okay, so the question is, how are we going to move the ball? <laughs> Because, uh, I mean, they don't have any linebackers over the middle of the field, so it's kind of begging us to run right there. Um, do I want to do it again? We're trying to send a wand deep and see what happens with that safety right there. We're going to dump it off to Mac. Our reliable tight end who leads our team in receiving yards and touchdowns, I do believe. I was going to do a read option, but I'd rather just hand the ball off to, I guess, Edwards. <laughs> Up the middle. I don't know why Juan isn't back there at running back, but we're not going to question it, I guess. Oh, they're all over that screen. What a spin move by Warren Wand. He's going to pick up a first down. Beautiful spin move by Wand to shake off the defender who was all over that screenplay from the very beginning. We're going to send Mac deep. We're going to... We're going to not give him a chance. That's what we're going to do. We're going to not give him a chance. Second and 19 now. We're going <gasps> to... What a throw by Carson Coates, man. What a throw by Coates. He got hit as he threw that ball. I thought for sure we were sacked. But I saw this corner right here drop off. So I'm like, let's try it. I got hit as I threw, I was scared, but Chauncey Mason makes a big time catch after a big time throw by Carson Coates. From the 41 yard line, first Might be one of the best throws we've seen him make all season. The safety's playing up, so we're going to give Blake back another chance to go deep. And this time we're going to fumble the... Dude, are you kidding me? Our offensive line is getting absolutely... Blasted to say it nicely <laughs> Just like last week we cannot like we're just not able to do play action. It's just it takes too long As I mm, I was ready to put AJ Bush in the burner man I would be able to end his career Virginia Tech has a three-point lead Gonna bring some more pressure as they hand the ball off to McMillan. He is fighting his way for about a yard before he's brought down there. Now 
what do we want to do? We want to get man. And play up. Press him a little bit, see if we can't get any pressure on the quarterback here. Alright, we're getting a little bit of pressure, making him drop, making him run. And a good tackle by Wilson there. A beautiful tackle by Wilson. Saving a first down. He needed to make that tackle, and he did. Okay, back on offense. Um, I don't know if I like the play to run here, but we're going to do it anyway. Pick up two. I mean, they're just bringing their safeties up constantly. They brought one up this time, dropping the other back. I'm going to dump it off underneath to Chauncey Mason, who picks up 11. Let's go a little bit of no huddle. See if we can't catch him off guard a little bit. Doing this play action boot over, and I'm not sure how this is going to work. Probably not good. Not good. I wanted to roll out and throw the ball away. I did not see the defensive end there. And Trevin Hill just gets the easiest sack of his life. Man, this... Oh my god, this offensive line is so bad. We gotta make some changes, man. This one is just gonna stop, I guess. As I... Didn't want to go no huddle, but we're doing it, I guess. We're going to send Juan deep, and we're going to bring Pascal on a little slant. We're going to give Juan a chance. Not going to work, probably, and it doesn't. He almost caught the ball, but, you know, too good to be true. He seems to just be in a funk. I think it's great to see that his teammates are there for him, trying to pick him back up and, and try to encourage him. And maybe some of that positive... Reinforcement from his teammates could have an impact Complete on the end to Murphy Picks up 6 yards Oh my man This is going to be a long game I can tell Like we're in it now but I just don't feel good about it And this is going to be a keeper AJ Bush gets absolutely hammered Hangs on to the ball My back itches It doesn't feel good Oh my god, that's open every time, dude. That's open every single time. And I'm playing man. I thought I was, wasn't I? And that's a screen pass over to Phillips who loses a yard. Man, we're lucky there because we caught a little blitz off the edge. We're gonna do it again. Oh no, Martin, get over there, dude. As Bush fires it. I'm telling you now, if that would have been caught. Oh man, if that would have been caught. There's 4 of 5 left in the first half. We get the ball to start the second. We're going to milk this clock as much as we can. And we're going to get some points on the board. As I said... Good run by Carson Coates. We have two clock on. We are milking this clock as much as possible. And we're putting the football either through the goalpost or in the end zone. And we're going to lean on Warren Wind to carry us down the field like we did against Troy. The defender came in and dropped their... Adonis Alexander already has seven tackles. Uh, this might not work very well. And it's not. Because they had two defenders over there. Can I read one? Shoot. Third and eight now. Uh, is this screen going to work? What are we thinking? It's probably not, huh? It's probably not. Please catch the ball, Pascal! Oh my god, man. 
Are you joking me? Once we get receivers that can catch the ball when I'm sitting there waiting on them the entire play, once we get them to catch the ball, man, we're going to be a dangerous team, dude. As I couldn't get off the block, as Bush has... Dude, why didn't we pick up that fumble in the first quarter, man? This game will be 0-0 zero, zero right now. It's a handoff, and McMillan is going to fight his way forward for two yards somehow, as they call a timeout. I mean, kind of a weird time to call a timeout. You have, like, two minutes, dude. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 44. As it's a screen. And I'm gonna try. Oh, dude. If we don't tackle them, why does it take three people, man? Third and two now. Gotta have our corners play up on the guy. Get up there, Johnson. And it's gonna be a keeper, and Bush is gonna be sh Dude, there ain't no way. I was standing right there as he was spinning. I know it's a stupid animation, but come on, man. That is not no first down, dude. In real life, dude, he is getting literally stopped about two, three yards short. As our corner just get absolutely toasted off the line. I wasn't even pressing and he got toasted, man. Oh my god. They're really going to score before the half. As Bush is going to run again. He's making us look like a freaking high school defense, dude. Holds a field goal lead. Wide open touchdown. Man, down ten, nothing, just like we were against Troy. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. But the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. It's fielded at the two. He's to the twenty. Across the thirty. And this is a good return by Chauncey Mason down the sideline into the thirty-five yard line. Sixty-three yard kickoff return. And that's huge. That is massive. 34 seconds left. We have two clock on. I gotta remember to turn that off. We don't want to turn the ball over. We're just gonna want to get at least a field goal. We're gonna hit Blake Mack who drops the ball. Dude, I'm gonna have an aneurysm if these people do not catch the ball. We're going to give Blake Mack a chance against a smaller defender, and he brings it down. Blake Mack with a tremendous catch. That's our reliable tight end. I thought it was picked off at first, and I got... Oh, I got scared. All right. First and goal from the seven. Touchdown, Warren Wand. We're back on the board baby big time touchdown before the half let's go here's the point after to try to cut this to a three point game thanks to a massive kick return by Chauncey Mason 63 yards to get us to the 34 yard line 35 beautiful looks like they really need to put more pressure on the quarterback and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter cover. That's picked off by Taylor! Blaze Taylor makes a huge play! Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, this is 
a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading that was a long throw to make by the quarterback and I mean I don't think we have time to make a quick throw now nah, our kicker ain't this good to make it from like 30 so we just got to take a shot to the end zone we're gonna have him block we're gonna have one block we're just gonna take a shot to the end zone as we can't even get the playoff we're gonna have one more chance at it Looks like we're going to have one-on-one -on -one for all three of our receivers over here. Block. Block. As this is a horrible throw. It's going to be incomplete to end the half. Alright. We have 85 total yards. The only reason why we scored a touchdown is because Chauncey Mason had a tremendous kick return. And we're going to get sacked. Oh my god. Tim Settle, his second sack. Whoop the frickin' do. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. So the sack makes this a second and long. And we're gonna dump it off to Pascal. Can't believe he caught the ball. Picks up 12. 39 now. We're gonna have to pass the ball again. I'm not confident in this at all. I'm not confident in this whatsoever. Because they usually drop the ball. We're going to hand it to him. Edwards is so close. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it, man. We are in Blacksburg. We need to go for this. And we're going for it. The ball's going to Warren Wand. And he picks it up. And he's got some more. Ten yard gain for Wand. Okay. From midfield. First down. I'm gonna hand it off to Wand again. <sighs> Boy, it's a very low scoring game. Uh I don't know if it's more good defense or bad offense. I mean, a lot of my guys have dropped the, the the ball, so, I mean. Oh, wide open! Blake Mack! Steps out of bounds, but that's alright. 17-yard gain. Beautiful play call. Beautiful throw. Beautiful catch. From the 29-yard line. First down. As Carson Case is going to roll out and he'll pick up five. The only reason why I rolled out right there was because I just didn't trust my line to hold for that play action. Like, as soon as I snapped it, I realized it was play action. I'm like, oh god, better start running. Because I knew I was going to be getting pressured. Log pass to Edwards. I mean... I don't know if that was the right throw or not. I think I have something underneath. Instead of doing that little stick and nod, I'm just going to have Blake Mack go deep. And we got him. No, we don't. It's almost picked. Fourth and five. <laughs> they want to go for it instead of kick the field goal. I don't agree with that. Do I make this field goal? I'm horrible at angling this. We angled it too much and... It's good! Tie game at 10. It had enough power, I just thought I angled it way too much. As number 17, Tennessee is leading number 18, 14, Florida, 7 to nothing. I don't know where 18 comes from. <laughs> Notre Dame takes down Michigan State, 21 to 14, handing the Spartans their first loss on the season. Alright, 10-10 here. Gotta get a stop. And McMillan just runs through the defender. And he's got a big game to the 40. God, man. Come, five rushes for 60 yards, Bill. 
Reminds me of what that stupid Arkansas running back did to us. Curl. Cameron Curl, whatever his name is. Man, I picked one hole, he picked the other. <laughs> what do I do, man? What do I do? Oh my god, bro. Like, if every team just understood in this game that you can run the ball whenever you want to, however you want to, pretty much for however many yards you want, Dude, we'd be winless. Like, <laughs> and that's gonna be an initial hit by Wilson. He's gotta start tackling, man. Like, he always makes the initial hit, and that's fine. You gotta start tackling, bro. It's gonna be a handoff to McMillan and a good tackle there by Williams. That'll bring up fourth and five, and it's gonna force Virginia Tech to punt the f or kick the field goal, I should say. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Virginia Tech could take the lead with this field goal. I was trying to get there and block it, but the field goal is good. Virginia Tech goes up 13 to 10. This is on Heisman difficulty, by the way, and the sliders are heavily favored in the CPU's uh, favor. I have said the sliders in my uh, previous videos. The first video... I, uh, I think it was the first video I showed the sliders, so, I mean, it's, second and six. it's not like it's an easy difficulty while we're in this game, we're just, we're just hanging around, Virginia Tech's almost getting upset here, as Coates is gonna keep the football and dive, I double tapped, <sighs> man, if I would have fallen there, I would have been heated. and hand off to one and he'll pick up four nine rushes for 35 yards definitely feels like I've handed off to him more definitely feels like more I'm eyeing Blake Mack and I'm gonna go underneath here not underneath but over the middle one that's our 10th first down Wand is just a good overall back, man. Now, he can catch the ball out of the backfield, he can run the ball efficiently, like, he, he's, he's good, effectively, I should say. He's just a good running back. There we slide. We're gonna get a no huddle here. See if we can catch him off guard with a little bit of a screen. If they go in that same defense, I'm gonna like it. Uh, I think this can work. Bounce back inside. Beautiful cut back inside by Johnston White. Alright. I believe that's the first bit of action that Johnston White has seen all game. I don't want to call a timeout. Alright, we got it off. As Coates is going to run, and he's going to lose a yard. I mean, that cornerback just made a tremendous play. He played both the receiver and me and the quarterback. So, I mean, nothing I can really do about that. As we are going to hand this off here. And Juan just doesn't pick up anything. Alright, at least we're in the middle of the field. We can kick a field goal if we don't convert this third down I imagine if we don't convert it's probably gonna be incomplete because well I, I really shouldn't say that but <laughs> all right start of the fourth quarter now as coach is gonna find Dude, why did he throw the ball like that? We're not even in field goal range, dude. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. I thought we were way closer than this. I should have looked at it, man. 
We're gonna give it a chance to the end zone. And Pascal has it! To the one yard line! What a catch! As he gets hit too. Oh my god, man. I thought for sure there was gonna be a one-on-one -on -one ball with the safety and we were not gonna catch that. But man, Pascal goes up and gets it. First and goal from the one. This is probably not a smart idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Wand gets, I guess, a yard. Oh my god, Pascal with a clutch catch at the goal line, man. As we're going to give it to Wand once again. Hopefully we don't get beat off the offensive line as Wand punches it in. Arkansas State has the lead with 6.47 to go in the fourth. Here in Blacksburg. 17-13 Red Wolves. Okay. Every play from here on out is extremely important. As Bush is going to take off running. And he's got some big yards there. 16. Some big yards, huh? Man, I'm smart. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. I'm just going to play a little bit of spy here. With the defensive tackle. <laughs> but Kuma has it caught. Gain of seven. On the little out route it looked like. Let's bring some pressure. Martin, get over. Cornerback, man. Whoever you are, Martin, Kyle Martin, dude. You have got to make a play on the ball, bro. Let's get a little bit of zone. Switch it up. See if we can't confuse him, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh my goodness! I was right there, man. I pushed. Why? As we're gonna blitz here, since the running back didn't do anything, that's a dangerous pass and it's incomplete. I can't whistle. Damn it. And they're gonna put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. As Bush, an inaccurate throw. Jeffrey Gibson was uh in the coverage there. As Virginia Tech is gonna punt the football. Big win for our defense here. 548 remaining if we can do what we did last week against Troy and just milk this clock that would be For Virginia Tech their pass rush has really been impressive today Kirk good pass rush by these guys today They also have that one takeaway This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground and That's always been a very positive thing It'll keep the defense honest and they won't be able to just play the pass Let's run the ball man One runs through a defender picks up two <laughs> we are 5 minutes and 30 seconds away from upsetting Virginia Tech in Blacksburg. Arkansas State looking for their second straight victory. One cuts it back and gets 5. Let's go a little bit of no huddle here. I'm going to let the clock run down, but I don't want to let them get back in their defense. We're gonna milk about 25 seconds. I'll see you in 25 seconds. <laughs> All right, if I don't get this I'm going for it just saying And we get it don't gotta worry about it. All right huge first down <laughs> I am not passing this ball Kirk. I can promise you we are running the damn ball as one one gets to carry up the middle and picks up six. This is beautiful. This is textbook just like last week against Troy. Warren Wand was a workhorse and he won us that game. 
I'm very, I'm very, what do you say, extreme with my hand motions. <laughs> As Johnston White gets a carry and picks up seven. Okay, we got to do a little motion here with the receiver, so we got to do this quick. As Juan gets the carry, he might be a little bit tired. He got off to a slow start with that run. As he's up to 17 carries for 57 yards. And the ball is going to Warren Juan. I like this little misdirection run, so we're going to go back to this. As Juan gets the carry there, there's the speed burst I want to see Juan as Virginia Tech calls a timeout. Something Troy did not do. They just let us kick the game winning field goal from like the two yard line, so. Not that I'm complaining. I really appreciate Troy for uh, making their loss easy. As Juan gets the carry, picks up a first down, Virginia Tech has to call their second timeout. Bobson dug it. Has his team on the verge of upsetting Virginia Tech on the road. This will be the biggest win of his young career. As Juan gets stood up at the line. He doesn't pick up anything, so... Let's see. What can we do here? They have no more timeouts. A first down ends the game. They know we're going to run the ball. As Juan picks up two. We're running the ball again. I don't care. And honestly. Would I punt the ball? I think I'm going to. I don't know if I want to punt the ball, man. As Juan gets the carry. And he'll pick up three. Do I want to pin them deep? The game is telling me to go for it. We're going for it, baby! We're ending this game! Let's go! Let's go! Let's end it! We go to Blake Mack! He has it! First down! It's over, baby! It's over! Arkansas State is going to upset Virginia Tech on the road in Blacksburg. The biggest win of Bobson Duggett's career. And man, what a game it was as the quarterback Carson Coates takes a kneel in victory formation. And this game is over. Arkansas State moves to 2-2. Two and two. Virginia Tech falls to just 1-3 and three on the year. And the ball game's over. The Red Wolves get the win. 17-13. Opponent under 300 passing yards. Player of the game, Warren Juan. 22 carries, 73 yards. And once again for the second straight game, Warren Wand pretty much wins us the game. With his running ability, getting first down after first down. Johnston White did have a big first down run in there. But man, what a win for this Arkansas State team. It wasn't the prettiest. It wasn't the most fun game to watch. But man, that was some football right there. <laughs> As we look at some stats. <laughs> Uh, Carson Coates, 14 of 23, 183 yards, a touchdown, and no picks. Was sacked five times. We gotta get our offensive line figured out. But, I mean, Carson Coates is only a redshirt sophomore, so... He should be a pretty solid quarterback for us for the next few years. As Warren won, 22, carries 73 yards, 3.3 average, isn't the greatest, but, you know, it worked. This was a very good defense we went up against, and uh, he also had a touchdown. So, receiving wise, Juan led the team, tied with Black, uh, Blake Mack for four catches. Mack had that clutch first down at the end of the game. Um, 
Chauncey Mason. I think the reason I won this game was Chauncey Mason's kickoff return that went for 63 yards before the half that allowed us to throw that throw that pass down the field to Blake Mack that led to a touchdown right before the half. That was huge. I think that is the reason why we won this game, to be honest with you. That was a momentum changer. As uh, we look at defensively, uh, Brandon Williams leads the team in tackles. Tackles for loss, three for Brandon Williams again. Uh, I said he was the defensive MVP last week. Probably did it again. Uh, two tackles for loss for uh, Roland Jones, Blaze Taylor, and Clifton. Uh, two sacks, one for Jones and Blaze Taylor, who had an interception as well. Uh, deflections, none. Forced fumble for Blaze Taylor. You know what? Blaze Taylor is this week's defensive MVP. He had a forced fumble. He had that interception right before the half as well. He had a sack. He had a tackle for loss. Yeah. Defensive MVP goes to Blaze Taylor. Offensive MVP, Warren Wand. Hey, LSU beat uh, Auburn 45-28. Go Tigers, baby. <laughs> Head coach Bobson Duggett is uh, level 3 now, so we're going to go ahead and knock out this last uh, scouting skill here. And uh, after this, we're going to go for the closer. That way we get uh, 500 extra recruiting points through from week 8 through week 15. So that'll help us our recruiting on the back end of the season. Um, man, what a game. Huge win. Uh, the players played well for you, coach. It's obvious that you had a great week of practice. Uh, Bobson Duggett, he always has his team prepared, baby. And you know he wanted to beat this team, this Virginia Tech team. Uh, very even game. Very even, yards-wise. Uh, you see total offense for us, 253 for them, 229. Each had a turnover. So, yeah, huge win for us. Next week, we'll be taking on... Missouri, another SEC school before we head into our bye week. <sighs> Big win. See if we can get another one next week. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like and hit that subscribe button. Uh, some more of these episodes are going to be rolling out very soon. And yeah, uh, that'll do it for me. I'll catch you guys later.